with another lesson, another difficult solo, I can say. Another uh, solo from John Petrucci today. Okay, Dream Theater's John Petrucci. Uh, lots of uh, technical difficulties on this one. So uh, bear with me and uh, let's talk about this solo. Okay, and it's from the Another Day uh, solo. Uh, another day song yeah from dream theater so uh we will talk about the chords of course then we will talk about the scales and then the techniques wow okay so uh let's get on with our uh lesson for today wait i i, I need to check if uh, we are live we are live and um there are people watching okay so let's go First, of course, we need to uh, learn the chords of this one, you know, the solo. Uh, basically, that's the chords. It's just repeating two times. So uh, it starts with a G minor. And then we have E over G sharp. Okay, so you have that. So G minor, E over G sharp, back to G minor, G sharp minor, sorry, and then F sharp. And E, B, A, then F sharp. Okay. So all of these chords are in the key of uh, B or G sharp minor. Uh, G sharp minor relative major is B, B relative minor is G sharp minor. Okay, so uh, they share the same notes. Okay, so it's clear to everyone. Uh, if you know the B major scale, it's the same notes as the G G minor uh, scale. Okay, so again G sharp minor going to E over G sharp, back to G sharp minor, F sharp major, E. B, and then we have this A there, alright, uh, flat 7, and then F sharp, and it's just repeating like that. So once we get the chords, we know already that's in this, this key, and then we study the uh, scales, okay? In this case, we have, you know, G natural, G sharp, natural minor, so G sharp, G sharp, B, G sharp, B sharp, E. F sharp, G sharp, so we have that. Or you can use as a guide with this one, uh, G sharp, and the tonic, and then use that actually on uh, this part. All of those are G sharp minor pentatonic uh, position, first, first position. All of those are notes from the G sharp minor uh, scale. So, fairly easy in terms of uh, theory. Okay, so the chords are uh, in, inside the G sharp minor, and then the scales are G sharp minor scale. Okay, so I hope that's clear. And let's study like the places of the scales. Uh, we have it here on the G sharp. Let's start with this one. Okay. So, uh, if we think of it like a B major scale, so it's easy for you to see it. That's the position on this uh, section, alright? G sharp is the same thing, just uh, add the... No, just add the G sharp there. It's the same, they're sharing the same notes, okay? So, we start on the 11th fret, bend. Half step, you know, targeting that B note. Second string, 11th fret. Half step. And we have those uh, two bends there. Okay, so. And then some uh, vibrato, you can use this or you can use this. The second vibrato is actually wider. This, this vibrato, if you listen to the original, second vibrato is really wider. 
and then uh, bend release okay on the ninth fret all, all on the second string right and then we go to 12th fret okay so bend full bend targeting the c sharp 12th fret second string and then release on the 12th fret so we have that that's it only Right? So that's the first part of uh, the solo. Okay, we have that um, slide. Okay, it's sliding like, like down. So we bend again on the 11th fret, the second string. Okay, bend release. Then 11th fret, 3rd string, then we slide on the 6th fret. So we have this. Cool, right? Just practice that, you know. Just to get that slide down. Alright. And then we have this... Okay. Again, on that scale, right? if it's a B, B major or a G sharp minor, say, uh, same position, and then we, we, we just do okay. it. So that's on the fourth uh, string, 8th fret, 9th fret, 11th fret. And then go to the third string, 8th fret, and then 9th fret. Okay. So we have A sharp, B, C sharp, B sharp, B. Just uh, you know, consecutive notes. Okay, from A sharp. And then we reach for that 12th fret, uh, second string, B note. Then we have that bend on the eighth fret, third string, with the first finger. Yeah, John Petrucci used that. Um, I don't know when 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 I uh, posted this. Uh, I think it was uh, I ha I have the tabs and backing track at my channel, and then I posted this. Then I have a new one. I think I, I know I don't have four years ago. So four years ago, this is the time that uh, I can feel already like uh, my focal hand dystonia. I have a focal hand dystonia. So uh, yeah. I can still use my pinky here just for you for you to know. Uh but it's getting really difficult already. Now it's, it's really difficult for me to use my pinky. And uh, this is called focal hand stone, so I have this uh, kind of um uh what do you call it? Uh, it's it's a neurological something, you know. So uh it's hard for me, that's why I have this just to support. So most of the time here I'm still using my pinky, it's normal. But now it's, it's, it's really difficult. But anyway, I can still play. And then all those notes are like uh, possible to play even without the pinky. You know? so, um, sometimes I can use it, but it's hard. Like that, right? So uh, if I use it without the pinky, it's, it's, it's also good. Okay. So. We have that pull off. Alright, so that's on the fourth string, eleventh uh, fret. Okay, so eleventh fret, ninth fret, seventh fret, and then eleventh uh, fret, four, fifth string. Then back on seventh fret. Then we have that slide. Okay, so uh, I'll try to use my pinky. Difficult, but yeah. Okay. So after that uh, line, I can say th those are the easiest. And then we have this uh, run, and I put it in my channel also where I practice only the runs, as you can see here. 
slow to fast. So if you want to study that uh, fast run. Yeah. And again, it's just on the uh, B major scale or G sharp minor uh, scale. And then we use the, the, the neck pick up there. Right? So starting on the F sharp, fourth string, uh, fourth and fret. Then we go to the third string and then we just outline the G sharp minor uh, scale. But this is three note per string and this is what, you know, this is John Petrucci, Paul Gilbert, you know, uh, style. And the uh, good thing about this is it's just repetition of those four, fourth and third strings. So. so if you got that down, it, it's, uh, it's a good uh, effect, you know. So fourth string, 14, 16, 18, then 15, 16, 18 on the third string. So. So we have that uh, fast fast run. So if you're having a hard time with that one, use a metronome, practice, uh, you know, s slowly first, just to get you down, what I'm doing here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the whole thing already. It, it's good to just focus on the fourth and third string first. Do it slow, and then sometimes practice in burst. Then stop, then do it again. And then once you get that down, go to the next section, which is the second fret, or second string, sorry. Uh, 16, 17, 19, and then 16, 16, 18, 19. So we have it's just in this scale, right? Uh, and again, practice that separately, only this part. And once you get that down, I'm, I'm going to the 20, 20 first fret like this. Just for practice, because that 20 first fret, it's really fast, but you need to bend that one. Full, full, full step. So that's the practice. And usually, when I when I uh, practice, I go practice with uh, the metronome. It's a really good way to get your uh, speed. Okay, so let, let's talk about speed now. Uh, John Petrucci uses this also, and it's called practicing in burst. So you, you try to practice it slow. And then you either do the whole time or you speed up the metronome. So I'm opening up my metronome just to give you an idea how we can tackle this uh, section because it's, it's, it's really fast, okay? So let's say this one is 84 beats per minute. So we go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, right? So, we... so let's just do that one, right? Then I did there double time, you know. So when I can clean that up, I'll go like uh, you know a bit more. Uh, I'll try one fourteen. And then once I get that down, I'll uh, go a bit slower so that you know it's nice. I think that's the original speed right? So I, I go to 90, and then I go to the second. Then practice that again. Then once I get those two, I'll try to connect them like puzzles, right? 
But we need to repeat the, the first part. Yeah. So that's how we, you know, get that speed. And then once you get that, maybe move a bit more. I'll put it to 100. You know, when you double time, it's already 200, right? So. it up okay so that's how you uh, tackle that uh, that section uh, of course it takes time you know don't rush uh, let your you know it has to be really relaxed and then after that you can uh, do the solo right uh, but it's not finished yet also the last part is kind of tricky this part, that part is So we go to this part where we go, uh, we can look at this like the G, not like it's a G sharp minor pentatonic. First position and second position. The, the, the slide here, that's on the second position of the G sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, so we slide on the 21st fret. In the 19th fret and 21st fret on the first string. So we have, right? And then we bend there full. Then after that, we bend again one and a half. So from the bend, we go another half. It's kind of tricky on that one. You know, it's kind of like, oh, my strings. So hopefully it will not, you know, snap. Yeah, so after that full bend and then another half and then uh, vibrato there, then we have we have uh, 19, 18, 19, 21, and then we have this uh, pentatonic cool uh, phrasing. You know, the pentatonic, but outlining just the G sharp minor pentatonic starting on the first string. Right? It's a pattern. So that's, um, if I'm going to say the, the, the notes there, we have uh, 19th fret, uh, 16th fret. You know, outlining going down. 16, uh, yeah, 19, 16, 19, 16, and then 18. And then we do the same pattern, but starting on the second string. Right? Just going down, uh, same same pattern and outlining that G sharp uh, minor pentatonic. Okay, and there we go. 18 on the third string, and then vibrato there on the 16th fret third string. So. Okay. Really cool phrasing on that one. We have this double stops. So that's uh, both 16th fret, 4th string, and 3rd string. So two strings after this. Okay. Still on the G sharp minor pentatonic, 4th string, and 3rd string. Hammer pull. The finish on that. Uh, Fifth string, uh, eighteen fret, and then sixteen, uh, fourth fret. Okay. Still pentatonic. Uh, third string, eighteen fret. Slide on the twentieth uh, fret, and then nineteen fret, twenty-first fret on the second string. Nineteen fret on the first string. And finishes on the 17th fret first string. We have this. Okay. So if it's fast, again, it's, it's, it's on uh, my YouTube channel. I'm just uh, teaching you, you know, the execution and where, where you play. It's the same where uh, John Petrucci plays it. I, I watched his video many times, 
before I transcribe it, you know, oh, this is where he plays it, and then I put it in my transcription. So you can check it out, and you'll see, you know, uh, the same position where he played it on, on the live. Okay? And then this is John Petrucci's, like, um, signature lick uh, after that. <laughs> John Petrucci loves um, doing that. Right? Going down or going up, uh, doesn't matter. You know, uh, ascending or descending, he does that a lot. Uh, he did that also on, uh, I think we did that on Spirit, Spirit Carries On, right? So, um, this one is just, you know, uh, going with the diatonic scale, G sharp minor. So we have uh, 19th fret, and then go to the 21st fret, then slide down 17th fret, the 19th fret, and then we go 14th fret, and then 16th fret, all on the second string and first string. So, right, so we have that. And then slide down to the 12th fret, and then 14th fret on the first string. Yeah. So we connect it. Then the last one we have on the 9th fret, 2nd string, and then 11th fret. So that alone, uh, you know, you have to sit down and work on that section. get that feel of uh, like it's throat. That's kind of box, right? And another thing, uh, I'm used to hybrid picking, but if you're not used to hybrid picking, so I'm using my middle finger for that first thing. But if you're not used, you can use a pick. Right? For me, it's just like it's faster for me. I'm used to it, so it depends on what you want to use. But you know, hybrid picking is cool. I like it. Okay. So after that, we have this uh, last section, which is. Yeah. So it's just hammer off on the 7th fret, 9th fret, and then go back to uh, all on the 2nd string, 5th fret, 7th fret, then we have this trail on the 4th fret, 5th fret, it's, it's quite easy, then you just tap, okay, so we have, and then you pull it off, that's the last section, so 4, 5, hammer and pull, Second fret, uh, second string, all in the second string. So we have just, just timing and the bracing. And if you listen a lot with uh, you know how uh, John Petrucci plays it, you can easily just copy it with uh, how how long it uh, it takes. You want to count it on the keyboard right here. Right, one to the keyboard is tap and then. Okay? Right? So, uh, like I said, it's not an easy uh, solo. You need to really sit down uh, and work on uh, those sections. Like, uh, this section. Right? And this section. And also this section. So many sections to uh, to work on. Uh, the first part, I, gu I, I guess, it's the easiest part. But uh, still, you know, we need to work on the bending. We need to work on the vibrato. So a lot of uh, things uh, happen here. Really good solo. One of the best uh, solo of uh,
next lesson and uh you know we're just discussing in solos you know the chords uh and then uh, theory scales if you want to support me you know you can actually buy the tabs and backing track on my uh my pay hip store uh, link on the description and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe i'm doing the lesson uh now three times a week here on uh youtube monday tuesday and thursday i usually do that and then uh, i post every day on my shorts and uh saturday uh we have some backing tracks yeah, so uh, a lot you can also uh, visit my patreon i post their uh, free stuff so um if you want to check that also backing tracks and chord tabs i, I post on my patreon if you want to check that and be a free member yes a free member it can be a free member though. yeah so uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any questions just uh, let me know uh, put it in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer you if you have any okay so uh, see you guys next time on uh, this channel we'll talk about more, more solos uh, and theory here on my channel thank you so much and have a great day bye bye